Learning more tonight about the secret tunnel built under a famous synagogue in Brooklyn. A 60-foot tunnel was found right underneath the Chabad Lubavitch World Headquarters in Crown Heights. That tunnel was shut down. It was filled with cement. But before all that, a brawl broke out this week. People got arrested when police showed up to seal off the tunnel. As for why the tunnel was built in the first place, that is still being pieced together. News 4's Andrew Siff live on Eastern Parkway now, where there are safety concerns also for other buildings in that area, Andrew. Right, Adam, although we've learned in the last hour or so from the city buildings department that they have successfully shored up all but one address adjacent to this synagogue. One building, 304 Kingston Avenue around the corner, does still have a vacate order because of fire safety concerns. But as you indicated, the controversial tunnel that the buildings department discovered has been sealed and filled with cement. Start with a famous address, 770 Eastern Parkway, headquarters of the Orthodox Jewish Chabad Lubavitch organization. This is understandably the most recognizable Jewish building in the world. Now add in a famous religious leader, Rabbi Menachem Schneerson. He died in 1994, but remains such a powerful symbol that a group of students here seemed convinced the late Rebbe had commanded them to expand the basement synagogue, subject of a decades-long real estate dispute. They actively knocked down the wall, separating the synagogue with a near, uh, nearby basement, and that's what got all over the news. The result, a makeshift tunnel that you may have seen on social media this week. Let's go, yeah! It also got the attention of the city's Department of Buildings and led to several arrests for criminal mischief and reckless endangerment. The DOB found the passage, 60 feet long by 8 feet wide by 5 feet tall, had no approval or permits, had inadequate shoring, which risked the stability of neighboring buildings, so vacate orders were issued. And cement trucks showed up over the past 24 hours to plug the passageway, preventing anyone from getting trapped down there. All of the buildings that needed to be shored up are in the process of being shored up. City Council member Crystal Hudson said local religious leaders acted responsibly. The Chabad Lubavitch leadership and building management were actually the ones who called the police. She and others also condemned online anti-Semitic hatred that spread quickly when images of the tunnel went viral. It's completely a question of real estate and who controls the property. The word tunnel, because of what's going on in the Middle East, has been associated with large complexes that span entire cities. I think oftentimes when you have a story like this that goes viral on social media and the internet, you get all sorts of tropes and stereotypes, and I think that's exactly what we saw. As for how long this underground tunnel had been here, the buildings department said they're not sure what it had been used for, essentially connecting to the basement of four other adjacent structures. And that's why initially the vacate order and the stop work order was on four other buildings. As we said, it's now just one building which remains closed because of fire safety concerns. We're live in Crown Heights. Andrew Siff, News 4 New York.